in these times of social distancing, it's great to be able to go fishing with your family. And here I am with my youngest daughter, Ruby, and we're, uh, we're only 10 minutes from uh, where we put the boat in. We go out and do a bit of trolling. It's really easy, trolling for herring. And the good thing about it, if you're sick of bait, this is the first way to start using lures. It's really easy, it's good fun, and you can't do too much wrong. Now to rig this has been really simple. I did have braid on here, so I have got a leader, but if you've got monofilament line, you can just tie it straight onto the lure. It's just a simple uni knot. You can do it better, you can do it cleaner, you can do it neater, but this will work, it'll work fine. You'll catch just as many herring, and as you get better at it, you can maybe improve your rigs a little bit along the way. I've got a 15 gram twisty. Now these are made out of brass, so the specific gravity is really heavy, so they're good for casting for their size and great little trolling lure. They flash through the water, look like a bait fish. It's really simple stuff. All we have to do is cast and retrieve it, or just troll it slowly. Very, very simple and good fun. Don't be uh, ever worried about these things dropping off. You seem to lose about every second fish falls off somewhere on the way in. Just like that one. <laughs> quite an acrobatic fish, so you'll see that the easiest way to keep them um, getting to the boat is obviously keep your rod tip low. So if you use a, a, a metal lure that's too heavy, they can flick it out of their mouth easily. So this is a little 15 grand twisty. It's got the weight that'll stay in the water, and it's got the weight that you can cast it easily, And um, but it's harder to flick out of the fish's mouth. And then when we when we actually wind a herring in, we, we do what we call low sticking, so we hold the rod really low to the water, and it just means that um, it discourages the fish to jump, so you don't lose as many just jumping. One of the great things also about trolling is you can actually locate the school. So uh, we've got a whole area here of, of a, you know, say 500 metres by 500 metres. I'm not quite sure where they are, but as soon as we get off this rock, by trolling we've located the school. Where have you just had a hit? And how far out the back? You know, it's just a decent cast. It's, it's, it's uh, about as far as you lob it out the back is about as far as you want it. You can go down a bit further, you can try a bit closer. Very easy to do, something the whole family can do, and you can get a great feed of herring. Good thing about herring, they're quite a strong fish. So you can take the fillets off or you can scale them if you like that stronger uh, that fish taste. Carcasses are great for burley or cray bait. Great activity. And there's a nice herring. So very simple fishing. Good fun. Get some more of those. Yep. We've got about half a dozen there for breakfast tomorrow. So I think we'll let this one go, what do you reckon? Yep. And uh, we might go and just have a little troll out wider and see if we can find something bigger. That'll cap the day off nicely.